Imagine biting into a succulent piece of Colombo de Poulet, a chicken curry dish from the French Caribbean island of Martinique. Now, this isn't your regular curry dish. The Colombo de Poulet is a culinary gem boasting a unique blend of flavors, a testament to the island's Indian influences and its rich cultural heritage. The star of this dish is the Colombo powder, a fragrant mix of roasted rice, coriander, cumin, fenugreek, and turmeric. This spice blend is the soul of the dish, lending it a warm, earthy flavor that leaves a memorable imprint on your taste buds. The chicken, marinated in this aromatic powder, soaks up all its flavors, transforming into a tender, flavorful masterpiece. Complementing the chicken are a variety of fresh vegetables, simmered until they're just right, and a bed of fluffy rice, absorbing all the flavors of the curry. This dish is a testament to the fusion of cultures on this island, a perfect introduction to the culinary delights of Martinique. Martinique, a French Caribbean island, is not only known for its breathtaking landscapes but also for its rich culinary tradition. This paradise island is a culinary melting pot, where the flavors and techniques of French, African and Indian cuisines coalesce into a unique gastronomic experience. Let's start with the French influence. As an overseas department of France, Martinique has embraced the French love for fine dining and has ingeniously incorporated it into their local dishes. Consider for instance the Accra de Moru, or saltfish fritters. These crispy golden nuggets derived from a classic French recipe, are made with locally sourced salted cod, giving them an island twist. Then there's the African influence, a remnant of the island's historical ties to the African continent. This is most evident in the popular boudin or blood sausage. This dish, a staple in many African cuisines, has been adopted and adapted by the Martinicans, who often serve it with a side of spicy Creole sauce. But the culinary adventure doesn't stop there. The Indian influence, brought by indentured laborers in the 19th century, has also left an indelible mark on Martinique's food scene. A perfect example is the Colombo, a curry-like dish that's become a beloved symbol of the island's Indian heritage. What ties all these dishes together are the fresh local ingredients that Martinique is blessed with. The island's rich volcanic soil and warm tropical climate provide an abundance of seafood, fruits and vegetables. From the succulent crab and shrimp caught in the Caribbean Sea, to the ripe mangoes and bananas plucked from local trees, these ingredients give Martinique's food its distinctive freshness and flavor. So, whether it's the velvety Acras de Moru, the spicy Boudin, or the fragrant Colombo, each dish tells a story of the island's diverse cultural heritage. This island's cuisine is a testament to its history, culture, and the richness of its natural resources. Now let's travel over to Cuba, where the aroma of Ropa Vieja, a traditional shredded beef stew, fills the air. This dish is a beautiful medley of savory and sweet flavors, a tantalizing combination that will make your taste buds dance. Imagine slow-cooked beef simmering gently with ripe tomatoes and vibrant bell peppers, all brought together with a blend of spices that whispers stories of the island's history. Speaking of stories, did you know that Ropa Vieja translates to old clothes in English? The name comes from a tale of a man who, out of desperation and love for his family, tore up his clothes, cooked them, and found they had transformed into a delicious stew. This heartwarming story reflects the dish's place in Cuban households, a symbol of creativity, resilience, and love. Ropa Vieja is not just a dish, it's a testament to the Cuban spirit, hearty, flavorful, and steeped in tradition. This dish embodies the soul of Cuban cuisine. Cuban cuisine is a blend of Spanish, African, and Caribbean cuisines, resulting in a symphony of flavors from simple ingredients. Let's start with the very heart of Cuban cooking, the humble duo of rice and beans. This combination is so central to Cuban cuisine that it's often simply referred to as moros, a shorthand that belies the depth of flavor these two ingredients can achieve. Whether they're cooked together or separately, the rich, earthy taste of the beans perfectly complements the neutral canvas of the rice. In a way, this pairing is a microcosm of Cuban cuisine itself, simple ingredients prepared with care, creating something greater than the sum of its parts. Next on the list of essential ingredients is pork. Now pork in Cuban cuisine is not just any pork, we're talking about lechon asado, a succulent roast pork dish that's marinated with a tangy blend of citrus, garlic and spices before being slow roasted to perfection. The result is a melt-in-your-mouth delight that's as festive as it is flavorful. But a Cuban table wouldn't be complete without the sweet and savory presence of plantains. 
whether served as tossed stones which are twice fried to crispy perfection, or maduros where they're allowed to ripen to a sweet caramelized finish, plantains bring a versatile and uniquely Caribbean touch to the meal. And let's not forget the tropical fruits that add vibrant color and refreshing taste to Cuban dishes. From the tangy sweetness of guava and mango to the refreshing burst of pineapple, these fruits not only serve as delicious snacks and desserts but also play a role in savory dishes, adding a sweet contrast to the hearty flavors of meats and grains. Above all, the essence of Cuban cuisine lies in its communal nature. Meals are not just about nourishment, but about bringing people together. Each dish, each ingredient is a thread in the tapestry of Cuban culture where food is a language of love, shared and savored in the company of family and friends. Cuban cuisine is a testament to the island's history and its people's resourcefulness and love for hearty and flavorful food. Martinique and Cuba, two islands in the Caribbean, each with their unique culinary traditions and flavors. On one hand, you have Martinique, a French overseas region where the cuisine is a delightful fusion of French, African and Caribbean influences. On the other hand, Cuba, a nation known for its hearty, home-style meals that are a testament to its Spanish, African and Creole roots. Both islands share a deep appreciation for local fresh ingredients. In Martinique, you'll find dishes bursting with flavors from locally grown fruits, vegetables, and spices. Seafood straight from the Caribbean Sea is a staple, often cooked in spicy sauces or served alongside root vegetables. Cuban cuisine, too, places a premium on homegrown produce. Root vegetables like yuca and malanga take center stage, along with plantains and a variety of beans. And let's not forget the all-important pork, marinated and slow roasted to perfection, a true testament to the island's love for hearty and flavorful meals. Yet despite these shared influences, each island's cuisine has its unique elements. Martinique's French influence is evident in its patisseries and Creole ratatouille, a spicy twist on a French classic. Cuba on the other hand is famous for its black bean soup and ropa vieja, a shredded beef stew that's a national favorite. But what truly sets these two islands apart is their love for food, Mealtime in Martinique is considered a time for family and friends to come together, to share stories, laughter, and of course, good food. Meanwhile, in Cuba, cooking is seen as an act of love, a way to show care and affection to those who eat the meal. Whether it's the tantalizing Colombo de Poulet from Martinique or the comforting Ropa Vieja from Cuba, each bite takes you on a journey through the island's rich history, culture, and love for food. As we conclude our Epicurean voyage across the Caribbean, it's clear that our journey through the island's rich culinary tapestry is far from over. The vibrant flavors, the unique mix of influences, and the heartwarming traditions embedded in each dish are a testament to the Caribbean's diverse and dynamic culture. Each meal, each ingredient tells a story of the island's history, of the people who have called these islands home, and of the love and passion that goes into every meal. From Martinique's enticing Colombo de Poulet to Cuba's comforting Ropa Vieja, We've only scratched the surface of the Caribbean's culinary delights, so continue to explore, to taste, and to savor the flavors of the Caribbean. And who knows, perhaps the next dish you discover will be your new favorite. If you enjoyed this culinary journey, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more delicious adventures. Bon appétit!